Hello and welcome to another episode of our Frightfully Forgotten Brews. And uh, today I'm going to bring to you Shockwaves, which is my German Rogen beer, which is a German rye beer. I was struggling to find a name for it. I had some kind of a German name for it set up, and then I was like, ah, what else is German in the horror Genre, the whole yeah. world and it just hit me is like shock waves oh, okay it's, it's a good name for a beer yeah. shock waves it's yeah. all right um yeah, it turned out pretty good but a little darker than i wanted i think a little more like chocolatey and caramelly than i wanted but anyways i used uh, two kilograms rye malt one kilogram pilsner uh one kilogram red x and then for the specialty grains i did eight ounces of cara red six ounces of cara aroma and four ounces of chocolate malt. So I, I think that's what darkened it up. Yeah, it's, quite a bit. It's, it's crazy how much a little bit of chocolate malt will darken up a beer. Mm -hmm. Almost black. Mm -hmm. um, for the hops, I did one ounce of Liberty hops for 60 minutes and one ounce of Liberty hops for zero minutes. Like I was kind of thinking, uh, I'll have maybe some German ingredients in the in the grain and then I'll use American sounding hops because there's Americans in the movie. Yeah. I used Hefeweizen yeast which is that wheat, the wheat yeast. Yeah. And it came out to about 20 IBUs and it started off at six and a half percent and it ended after it was done fermenting at about five and a half percent. Yeah, it's good. So there you go. Shockwave. It's a good rye beer. I like a good rye beer. Yeah. Mmm. Well I think there's too much in this where it muddles that spiciness though I think. I don't think so. You don't think so? No. Well, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy.